This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on the South Today, Dunedin gets lit up like Christmas trees as residents cover their homes in festive lights. More than 600 people soak up the sun at the recent annual long lunch in Arrowtown. And the 153rd Tokomarero AMP show goes ahead despite changeable weather. Kia ora, good evening, I'm Melissa Barton. From Waldronville to Waitati, Dunedin homes are being lit up like Christmas trees as residents cover their homes in an assortment of colourful flashing and festive light displays. For one Fairfield couple, their efforts are attracting thousands of visitors. The residents of John and Isabel Fraser in Fairfield. For each of the last seven years, their home on Martin Road has been transformed from standard suburban dwelling into a multicoloured Christmas masterpiece. Yes, when I was over in America, I saw some of the big department stores and I thought I'd like to put a display on like them. And he certainly made a good fist of it with thousands of multicoloured lights, an inflatable Santa Claus and a nativity scene. Uh, it takes about one week to put the lights up and each of those boards, picture boards, um, has been made by me from a string of lights and a bit of plywood and uh, they take about one day each for two people to make. But his labour of love is certainly worth it. Planning for the display starts in October. Last year around a thousand people visited on Christmas Eve alone. Some people collect steam engines, little miniature trains. Uh, I do Christmas lights and it's a major hobby of mine and I, I really love doing it, particularly for the kids. He says the word has got out about the display and they're already seeing more people stop by for a look than ever before in Dunedin in the South today. Two men have been sentenced to life in prison for the murder of 19-year-old Jack McAllister outside Stadium Southland last year. Stuff reports Braden White and Roth and Christopher Brown have been sentenced to life imprisonment for the murder. Laura Sheepers has been sentenced to 12 months home detention after being found guilty of manslaughter. McAllister died from injuries suffered during an attack in June last year. He was lured to Stadium Southland by the promise of sex from a young woman, where he suffered 14 stab wounds including one which severed a major artery. More than 600 people soaked up the sun at the recent annual long lunch in Arrowtown. They sat at tables stretching along Buckingham Street, enjoying food from over a dozen of the township's restaurants. Hundreds of diners enjoying local cuisine right along Arrowtown's Buckingham Street for the 8th annual Long Lunch. Organisers say it's a great way to raise funds for local groups. One of the major charities is the Arrowtown Charitable Trust, which is working on lighting and heritage projects around Arrowtown. And we also have some auctions, some silent oak auctions and some art auctions. And the um, recipients of that are going to be the local Arrowtown Predator Control Group. The event has been taken over by the Arrowtown Promotion and Business Association after long-time organiser Malcolm Blakey pulled out, citing excessive red tape and a lack of support from the council. This is the first year we've been running it ourselves. Um, we'll do an assessment at the end and have a look at where we're going with it. But it's so popular, we probably could have sold twice as many seats, mm. but you can only fit so many people in town. So we've got 600 diners in town. She says tickets sold out within hours with diners enjoying food from over a dozen of the town's restaurants. Why wouldn't you come to a long lunch here because it's the most beautiful town in the world? Yeah. The weather gods have been very kind to Arrowtown and they usually are. Mm. You know with the um, Autumn Festival in April in 35 years they've had one day that's been really bad, one market day, parade day that's been really bad and with this event um, we've been blessed every time. The association's contracted Christchurch based Multi Events Limited to run the event and there's a possibility it'll be extended next year to include more people in Arrowtown, the South today. A vigil is being planned in Queenstown to honour slain English tourist Grace Milan. A 26-year-old man has been granted interim name suppression after appearing in the Auckland District Court this morning charged with her murder. Queenstown woman and English expat Amanda Morris says she has decided to organise a vigil because Queenstown is such a tourist place 
And the tragedy would have hit close to home for many in the resort. The vigil is set to be held tomorrow night in front of the Boatshed Cafe. Despite rain at the start of the day, the weather soon cleared and the 153rd annual Toka Marero AMP show went ahead as planned on Saturday. Hundreds of visitors flocked to Milton, just south of Dunedin, to take part in displays and entertainment for both young and old. Well-groomed animals competing as children's pets at a Tokamariro A&P show. These much-loved lambs and ponies, just some of the many displays in Milton on Saturday. Despite cows and cattle being absent due to the risk of Mycoplasma bovis, the show saw good numbers of other livestock on exhibit. Entries are up on horses this year. We're up to 150 uh, actual horses. That's not, and then obviously multiple entries from different horses. Uh, sheep numbers were up a wee bit on last year. While rain had initially threatened to spoil the day, McElray says the show was a success. As a relatively new member to the society's committee, presiding over the A and P show has been a challenge for him. I had one year as junior vice and then I went straight into president, so I didn't, it was a bit of a steep learning curve, but uh, have a great committee, and uh, they helped me a lot and learnt a lot, but I've had to learn a lot about horses and had to learn a lot about things which I didn't know a lot about in a hurry. Tours of the nearby Calder Stewart factory were on offer, and the Milton Crash Rescue Team put on a display of their role in the community. It's real good just to show the community what we do and how we do it, and we do it safely and to benefit the community and also upskill ourselves. And of course, no A&P show is complete without a grand parade to wrap up the day. In Milton, for the South Today. Still to come on the South Today, we pop into Invercargill's Christmas Market and visit Waiau to see how the town's going two years on from a destructive earthquake. Hi folks, it's me again. My friend at Lindsay at Alec Campbell Menswear and all his team in the three stores, Mosgill, South Dunedin and Cromwell, wish you a Merry Christmas. It's a wee message from him. And from me, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Petrol prices getting you down? Keep the smile on your dial with an e-bike grin from Electrify NZ on Cumberland Street. For an average $2,000 savings per year, why wouldn't you? Book a test ride today. Spring is here and it's time to get in the garden. Ready Lawn will take care of your lawn needs making Lawn Care a snap. They will install the perfect lawn while you plant your favourite flowers and vegetables. Call Ready Lawn today so you can enjoy the coming season. When it's time to say goodbye to your pet, Heaven Sent Pet Cremations are here to help you through this difficult experience. Call Heaven Sent Pet Cremations today for their care and guidance. Phone 489-2274. My elves and I just love coming to Alex Campbell's, that's my favourite shop. I always get good value here, and good boys really deserve good brands and good quality. Look at these teas, local beaches on some of them too. This is only for the good boys, the old boys, the young boys. What about some bright shorts for the boys? Excellent. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. At Green Island Medical Centre, we are committed in caring for our future and present generations. We know as a young person, coming to the doctors can be quite daunting. Our highly skilled doctors and nurses will make your experience one where you will leave with a smile. Your health is very important to us. It's always really satisfying when a customer comes back after doing a purchase of outdoor furniture and knowing that we've got it done right. Step into Ross Cafe, located at Ross Home in North East Valley. We have a great range of hot and cold food, friendly service and a warm atmosphere that you are sure to enjoy. We look forward to serving you soon at Ross Cafe. Step into Op Shop on St Andrew and discover a place with plenty of bargains for yourself, your friends and the whole family. We have new items arriving every day. Visit us for a fabulous range of economy and upmarket clothing, accessories, books, shoes and more. Shop with us and support your community.
It's that time of year, it's time to get into the garden and it's time to get your weed eater. Down here at the Power Garden Department at Anderson's Bay Road, this year it's all about the cordless weed eater. Come down and see us at Mighty 10 Mega and we'll help you get it done right. Welcome back. Independent auditors have been called in as the Dunedin City Council continues to investigate five cases of suspected fraud. The council has confirmed 18 cases of potential fraud within the DCC have been reported since the start of 2016. 13 have already been investigated with no fraud identified. But a further five are still under investigation, including a probe into the sale of surplus items from the Dunedin Chinese Garden. A very Kiwi Santa spread some Christmas cheer to Invercargill residents on Saturday, and further south as well. The council says the Invercargill City Centre Christmas Market and Festival focused on all things Kiwiana to better represent the New Zealand way of celebrating the holiday period. About a thousand people attended the market, which had 45 stalls from local businesses. The council says residents made it clear in a council survey earlier in the year the Christmas festival is an important event for the city. Meanwhile, wet and windy weather forced the cancellation of the Bluff Christmas Parade yesterday, but it wasn't enough to dampen the spirits of those attending the Christmas festival. Hundreds braved the cold to partake in a range of festive activities. Local businesses set up a range of craft and food stalls, while many jeeps, face painting, a bouncy castle and a jelly eating competition kept the children happy. The Canterbury settlement of Wyal was one of the hardest hit in the November 2016 earthquake. Many buildings and facilities were badly damaged or destroyed, including the Wyal school pool. Construction time again in Wyal. The November 2016 earthquake caused widespread damage across central New Zealand, but one of the hardest hit places was the small Canterbury town of Waiau. The Waiau school's 100-year-old pool was destroyed, and two years from the event, the million-dollar rebuilding project is on track. Approximately $1.5 million a year. Um, we've had a lot of support for the project nationwide. It's quite overwhelming, in fact, about how many people have given and who has given to the project. Um, the committee did initially fundraise over $350,000 yep. with the help of um, Vernon Callagher, a Auckland resident who um, was proactive straight after the earthquake and started advertising the job and getting out in media attention. YL Pool Committee Chair Emma Duncan says the pool has been greatly missed. It was a great facility and it served many, many generations and children's um, uh, enjoyment, but yeah, it, it was it was aged. Yep. She says the major fundraising drive has helped gain national attention, spurring the project on, and they hope the new pool will be open by February, as the region is known for long hot summers. Oh, absolutely, we can't wait. Uh, the summers here are extremely hot, so um, with not having the facility or a huge facility for the last couple of years, it's it's it has been um, quite a change and. Um, We've been making use of the local river. The number of children on the Waiau school roll dropped from 51 pupils pre-quake to just 37 following the event. And Duncan is proud of the strength shown by the school children following the earthquake and aftershocks. Children are great. They're so resilient. Um, they've watched their parents get on with it, move on, and they've done the same. They're enjoying the pool, getting built in their backyard as they play. Um, they're excited. I think they're, they're doing really well. She and other proponents of the town say they're getting on with the rebuild and redevelopment work in typical stoic southern style. In Canterbury, The South Today. After the break on The South Today, we check out the mountain bike action at Queenstown Season of Shred and continue our look back at the year in news, this time in the month of March. What a wonderful year. No more neck pain, shoulders are great, back, all pain's gone. 
Sciatica, not a problem. What a great year my customers had. Happy New Year and see you in 2019. Every Kiwi deserves a reliable garage door. Rely on Garador to protect your important stuff. Just like Darren. His Garador keeps his favourite ride in mint condition. We have a huge range at affordable prices. Visit our website for a free consultation. We stand behind every door. Step into Ross Cafe, located at Ross Home in North East Valley. We have a great range of hot and cold food, friendly service and a warm atmosphere that you are sure to enjoy. We look forward to serving you soon at Ross Cafe. I just like it. I, I, it's something that it, you can see the fruits of your own labour. You put it right now, um, you don't have as much to do at Christmas. Will you come see me, Derek, in the garden department, and then we get it done right. My elves and I just love coming to Alex Campbell's. That's my favourite shop. I always get good value here, and good boys really deserve good brands and good quality. Look at these teas. Local beaches on some of them too. This is only for the good boys, the old boys, the young boys. What about some bright shorts for the boys? Excellent. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. Petrol prices getting you down? Keep the smile on your dial with an e-bike grin from Electrify NZ on Cumberland Street. For an average $2,000 savings per year, why wouldn't you? Book a test ride today. Hello, it's Jeremy down here at Mighty 10 Mega in Anderson's Bay. We've got 35 different lawn mowers down in our power garden department. We've got ride-on mowers, petrol mowers, battery operated mowers, push mowers. Did you know we've even got a robot, a little robot lawn mower that pops out during the day when you're at work or play. It'll pop out and mow your lawn. So come down and see me, Jeremy, down in the power garden department at Mighty 10 Mega in Anderson's Bay Road where we'll help you get it done right first time. Active Interior Design in Mornington are the curtain and blind experts. The team can even advise you on outdoor products and will ensure that everything is perfect. For interior design with flair, call Active to book your free in-home consultation or call into the showroom in Mornington. Step into Op Shop on St Andrew and discover a place with plenty of bargains for yourself, your friends and the whole family. We have new items arriving every day. Visit us for a fabulous range of economy and upmarket clothing, accessories, books, shoes and more. Shop with us and support your community. At Green Island Medical Centre, we are committed in caring for our future and present generations. We know as a young person, coming to the doctors can be quite daunting. Our highly skilled doctors and nurses will make your experience one where you will leave with a smile. Your house is very important to us. Thanks for staying with us. Fine weather brought out a big crowd for the Queenstown Mountain Bike Club's annual season of Shred event in Fern Hall on Saturday. And with something for all ages on offer, the Shred is proving to be a popular event on the local calendar. Perfect conditions, a big crowd and a quality field for this year's Season of Shred mountain biking event in Queenstown. Organisers wrapped with the weather and the turnout at the Wynyard Jump Park. Uh, last year was a bit of a, of a wet one so we're really really happy with the weather and the turnout this year. Um, it's obviously clouds have parted, the sun's out, it's really warm, wish I had a short sleeve on and uh, yeah we're really happy, everyone's enjoying it. The day featured appearances by pro riders Connor McFarlane and Tom McLean, while about 100 competitors tackled a Grade 5 Black Diamond Trail in the King Salmon Race. This year we have a kids jump jam and then we have an adult jump jam. We had the King Salmon Race just finished actually just a few minutes ago. We crowned King and Queen of Salmon. Um, the whole point of it is raising funds for the club. He says it's taken him and four colleagues from Atlas Beer Cafe about three months of planning, along with help from club members. This year, yeah, it's definitely better than last year already. We'll be able to, yeah, we're really happy with the turnout so far. Lots more families. Um, with that kids jump jam definitely brought out a lot of people, so we're really happy with the turnout. For the record, Queenstowners Kathy Morris and Rhys Potter took out the women's and the men's categories of the King Salmon Race in Queenstown, the South, today. In the lead up to Christmas, we're taking a look back at the news highlights over the last 12 months. March saw three performances by singer Ed Sheeran at Dunedin Forsyth Bar Stadium, as well as Olympic and Paralympic medalists from the region returning to a hero's welcome. 
Wanaka's Winter Olympic medalists Zoe Sadowski Sinnott and Nico Porti has got their very own welcome home parade at the beginning of the month. Hundreds of people lined the streets of the town to cheer on the two 16 year olds. That was insane. I did not expect this many people, eh? Like, that is incredible. Um, the amount of support we've received over the past two weeks has been, it's been, uh, you know, it's out of this world. An Invercargill author launched her first novel dealing with a controversial piece of the country's history. Pauline Smith's Dawn Raid tells the story of how the raid searching for illegal immigrants affected people in the 1970s, especially Pacifica people. I lecture at the University of Otago and a lot of the students have little or no knowledge of the Dawn Raids and of what an overstayer meant or what the Polynesian Panther Party stood for and what they did to put an end to the Dawn Raids. The book went on to be a winner in the New Zealand Children's Book Awards later in the year. The search continued for missing Alexandra man Christopher Bates. CCTV footage released the previous week showed a man thought to be Bates, but that turned out not to be the case. Christopher Bates was never found. After being lost for more than a month, six-year-old Labrador Huntaway Cross Meg was reunited with her owners. The dog was found injured in bushes where she'd gone missing following a car accident. As far as I'm concerned, She's home, and the universe is provided. And that is something that I never thought yesterday at two o'clock I would be saying today. And Winter Paralympic gold medalist Adam Hall returned to a hero's welcome at Dunedin Airport. Scores of well-wishers met him at Mamona with flowers, songs and handmade welcome home signs. It was the second time Hall had won a gold medal in the men's slalom event. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South today. From Wildrumville to Waitati, Dunedin homes are being lit up like Christmas trees as residents cover their homes in an assortment of colourful and festive light displays. More than 600 people soaked up the sun at the recent annual Long Lunch in Arrowtown, raising funds for local charities. And despite rain at the start of the day, the 153rd annual Tokumarero AMP show went ahead as planned on Saturday. And now look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT. Welcome Hayden Meikle. Good evening Mel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What is it today? Monday is it? I've lost track of time. I know, I was thinking that before. Yeah, it's definitely Monday. Monday it is. Tuesday's paper, what have we got? Uh, some good stuff. Some good news for families, potentially. Some potentially exciting news about a project, project in Dunedin. I'm not sure how much I should give away. Uh, it involves a playground, potentially. Very exciting as somebody who's the father of a... 10 year old boy to think of a nice big playground, so read more in tomorrow's ODT. So watch this space. Watch this space. Uh, Invercargill ratepayers not happy, not happy at all. They've been lumped with a quite a large unexpected bill, $4.5 million, sort of a council overrun, so I'm sure they'll be a little bit grumpy down south. It's not about the weather, it's about the bill. That's fair enough. Um, measles, bizarrely. Second case of measles in the southern region, which is very, very unusual in this enlightened era of vaccinations, which obviously are proven science. Uh, authorities are confident it's not an outbreak, so that's something I suppose, but still quite rare to hear about measles these days. And fingers crossed it's not an outbreak. Absolutely. Uh, our local heroes, so tonight is the sort of Otago region of the Kiwi Bank Local Heroes Award. Fifteen fine people will be getting their medals. Uh, you can read all about those people, a wee biography of each one in tomorrow's ODT. Uh, and a little bit of sport, the Highlanders are playing this weekend. Did you did you know the Highlanders were playing this weekend, Matt? I actually had no idea because it's summer. <laughs> They're not technically playing, but a lot of Highlanders are playing, believe it or not, in the Japanese club rugby final. And we've got a story outlining all the past and present Highlanders who are playing a little bit of rugby in Japan. So a bit of a mixed bag tomorrow. Should be something for everybody. Wonderful. Thank you. And you can catch all of that in tomorrow's ODT. And now it's time for a look at the weather for the start of the week. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by Mole Map. Tonight's southern view is of Christmas lights, a Christmas lights display in Dunedin. Looking at the situation, a weak low pressure system will bring rain and showers to most areas tomorrow, but the rain will clear up later in the week. Starting off at the northwest of the South Island, Greymouth and Westport can expect showers and a high of 19 degrees. Across to the northeast, Nelson and Blenheim could have a few clouds and 21 degrees for you both. 
In Canterbury, a rainy day for Kaikoura with a high of 17 degrees. Christchurch and Ashburton may have a few showers. Christchurch is aiming for 16 degrees, while Ashburton should reach 17. Looking at the southern centres, Catlins, Belclutha, Gore and Lumsden are all in for moderate northeasterlies with rain later and looking at 13 degree highs. Heading westwards to the central lakes, moderate northerlies and some rain with highs of 14 for Wanaka, Alexandra and Queenstown and a bit cooler for you in Tiana on 13 degrees and you'll also have rain. Looking at the northern towns, Timaru and Omaru can expect moderate northeasterlies, rain later and 14 to 15 degree highs. Moderate northerlies, some rain for Amarama and Twizel, and you're both expecting 14 degrees. And in Dunedin, cloudy tonight and you can expect an overnight low of 11 degrees. Cloudy tomorrow with moderate northeasterlies, rain developing late afternoon, 13 is the high and a low of 11. And it's cloudy but dry on Wednesday with moderate cool northeasterlies, a high of 12 and a low of 10. Down to Invercargill, cloudy tonight and an overnight low of 11. Cloud increasing and lowering tomorrow with showers developing during the afternoon, moderate northeasterlies looking at a high of 14 and a low of 11. Showers clearing and sunny periods developing during the afternoon on Wednesday with light easterlies. Plan for a high of 14 and a low of 9. That wraps up our news for this Monday. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz, channel39.co.nz and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Ka kite anō. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.